Everybody, it's Tyler here at Haunted, checking in team number 244D, Detritus. Uh, if you're from the FRC world, you definitely know about Robodogs as well, but a great team in the VRC community as well, too. Uh, take a look at Detritus Robot. We really like a lot of things that go into this, uh, ranging from some unique things with the wings that they're doing. Of course, we'll be talking about their uh, their intake and that whole tribal journey into their catapult, and some cool things we're doing with their drivetrain as well. Let's learn more about them coming up on Pits and Parts. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit recf.org and get connected. Paul, let's start off talking about on your drivetrain when we were talking before the interview. Uh, you're doing something a little bit different than just axles on. You're doing what you call a screw drive. So tell yeah. me more about what that is on your bot. So um, instead of axles, we use screws. And so to use screws, we drill holes in th into our gears and then have a certain insert that we use for our wheels. And that allows us to basically put the wheels and the gears on the drivetrain so that they have less friction. Very cool. What have you seen uh, from that like in match play so far? Is it something that you would continue with throughout the season as well? Yeah, uh, something that I would continue because um, I've seen in past years, I've done axle drive and it's been like pretty slow and has a lot of friction. But with the screw drive this year, it's been a whole lot of frictionless. And talking about the uh, wings on, on your robot as well too, you said that the way you had the package, it was a little bit different uh, than what some other teams are doing. Yeah, so a lot of teams are putting their like this part of the piston into inside their drivetrain, but unlike them, we're kind of putting it on the outside towards the front and then putting it direct direction it to the back of the wing. It just allows for more inside space inside the robot too, as well. Can we see the wings come out and get a little demo of that? Uh, Gotcha, very cool. So on this as well, yeah, I really like how you worked with the challenge of like, hey, we're not, can't, can't cut it the way we want it. Love that you came up with a good solution for something like that. Uh, looking at your uh, intake here as well too, you notice you're doing a four bar type intake. Yeah. Uh, I was talking about the rollers and then uh, I always like to ask teams, do you visualize any changes in the future for these two? Yeah, so on our intake, we have a four bar design, which means there's just four bars connected to the, the bar that is connected to the rollers. And that, so the four bar just allows us to keep the rotation or the orientation of the rollers the same at all times, whether we have it out or or in. Can we see a tri-ball come in and demonstrate that? Yes. Uh, and then looking like from the rubber band configuration, that sort of thing too, is that something you'll uh, keep using, you think, in future competitions? Yeah, uh, the rubber bands allow it to be squishy. And so if we, kind of, yeah, it just lets us be able to grip it and, yeah. Yeah, a lot of compliance to it, right? So you can yeah. pretty much go in any orientation. I really like the thought process to that. Uh, your catapult-wise, watch it on the field too. A lot of great things coming out of that. Talk to me about uh, the overall configuration of it and how you end up choosing this full uh, format for you to go with. Yep, so what we have here is a uh, one to 60 gear ratio, and that allows us to have a lot of torque and not a much speed, which we want a lot of torque, but no speed. So um, also to control the angle of our robot, we, ha we use a rotation sensor here and the sensor basically just uh, tells the, the robot like where the catapult is at all times. And it allows us to s stop the catapult at a specific uh, angle to yeah, be able to intake. So what, like, what kind of sensor are you using for that and like, what kind of feedback do you actually see on that? So um, in the code, we kind of have it to where if the rotation sensor is ro sensing a specific rotation, like at a certain degree, yeah. it will stop the catapult motor and yeah, it will just let it stop. How quickly are you uh, firing uh, from the loads? We, we've been able to do a, a one tri ball per second. Sure, can we see a demo of the tri balls coming out? And then I noticed with your intake here too, when you're intaking in, do you find yourself uh, picking up from the ground and also catapulting typically? Is that part of your match strategy? Yeah, typically if there's, if we're on the offensive side, then we will try and intake it to our catapult and then 
like shoot it somewhere else on the field. But, and then, yeah. Awesome. Well, 244D, thanks a lot for telling us about your team. And of course, uh, good luck here at Haunted. You're doing pretty well here so <laughs> far. Uh, and can't wait to see uh, how it turns out for the rest of the season for you. Thanks a lot for taking the yeah. time. Thank you. This video on fun is brought to you by viewers like you and also in partnership with the following. The Robotics Education and Competition Foundation provides fantastic programs for students from elementary school all the way through college. These include VEX, Aerial Drone Competition, Online Challenges, JROTC, Girl Powered, Scholarships, Certifications, and so much more. To discover these exciting opportunities, visit RECF.org and get connected. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Most live shows can be found on the First Updates Now YouTube channel, live competitions at twitch.tv slash firstupdatesnow, and join our Discord at discord.gg slash firstupdatesnow. Check our other social offerings on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter.